still in projectile motion section and today we will talk about objects launched at an angle almost any or almost all the live real life applications of projectile motions are objects being launched at an angle we learned last time objects being launched in the horizontal direction like a coin rolling over the table then it will go free falling following a path to hit the ground in this case we have an object that is being launched at a certain angle theta in this case so we can see here a baseball player he's throwing the ball at a certain angle with a certain velocity this velocity is considered as a vector this vector has two components there is a velocity in the x direction and velocity in the y directions both of these two values will define the trajectory that the ball will follow before it will hit the ground now let's take an example on this topic without saying much about it so we have a baseball player practices the swing in the cage and the pitching machine delivering the ball to him if the baseball is launched with an initial velocity of 22 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees so we have the V 22 meters per second and the theta is 30 the player hits the ball at the same height from which it was launched and the question is how long for how long the baseball will stay in the air on its way to the batter now we have the initial 22 meters per second at an angle of 30 degrees the required is the delta t or the time until the ball hit the batter now if we want to do the analysis and try to solve this question we can draw an x and y axis which is a cartesian in this case we have v initial over here and the angle of 30 as a vector now you need firstly to set the convention which side is the positive side of motion and which is negative on the x and the y axis now we sit here that forward or to the right side is positive and upwards is positive and we need to find the components of the baseball for the initial velocity for the x direction we have vix and for the y direction we have viy now vix in this case as we already know in components and vectors analysis equals vi cosine theta vi here 22 meters per second cosine 30 degrees will give you vix as 19.05 meters per second and for the y direction viy equals vi sine the theta which is equaling 22 meters per second multiplied by sine 30 would give you 11 meters per second now the ball returns to the same height from which it was launched in this case delta dy equals zero and still in our mind how to get our delta t we get our vix and viy which is needed now what is the delta t we use the equation that we learned in our last lecture delta dy equals viy multiplied by delta t plus one over two ay multiplied by delta t squared so we are saying here from the question that the ball returns to the same height from which it was launched so the ball goes from the floor to the highest distance that it can go upwards then it will go down and hit the floor let's say or in the hand of the player now in delta y equaling delta dy equaling zero we will put it as zero equals v i y we know it delta t we need it and we have a y as the if you remember the gravity acceleration which we already know and multiply by the d squared compensate each parameter with the numbers that you have to find delta t 0 equals 11 multiplied by delta t plus 1 over 2 multiplied by minus since we sit upwards as positive so gravity acceleration is down so that's minus 9.81 by delta t squared let's re organize the equation over here that would give you delta t equals 11 over 4.9 which would give you the time it took the ball to go from the initial position to the final position was 2.24 seconds let's take another example with a different parameter being asked to find a paintball directed at a target 
uh, is shot at an angle of 25 degrees if the paint splat on its intended target at the same height from which it was launched that's important that delta dy is zero and uh, delta t in this case three seconds later means delta t equals three find the distance from the shooter to the target so here we set the convention down and right is positive in this case up and left is negative so a equals a y which is 9.81 meters per second downward means positive for our convention theta is 25 degrees delta t is 3 you can see here that's the v initial and that's the angle you have the paintball will go from this point go all the way up in a trajectory and go back to the same height from the y-axis so delta dy equals zero for sure now what is required we need the range delta dx like how far did the ball go in the x direction we use the famous equation we have delta dy as zero in this case we have uh, delta t and we have a y we have delta t as well here so let's try to compensate the parameters so delta dy equals those parameters zero would equal those parameters now let's re-prepare it vi delta t equals one over two minus one over two by a y by delta t squared a y we already know so in this case we need v i y first v i y would be minus one over two by a y by delta t we have all those parameters so in this case v i y minus 14.7 meters per second means v i y going upward now to find the x direction component we find the, in the initial horizontal speed using tangent function and uh, we know that there is no acceleration in the x direction the ball horizontal speed remains the same during its flight so that means ax equals zero now if you set vi as we saw previously with an angle of 25 we know viy but we don't know vix so we're trying to find vix we know we have vi with a 25 degrees angle and we have viy that we found already what is vix if we use the tan theta tan theta equals opposite over adjacent which means viy over vix in this case vix would be the opposite which is viy over tan theta which is 14.7 over 1025 would be 31.56 meters per second so vix in this case 31.56 meters per second and we know the equation vix equals delta dx over delta t that can be rearranged as delta dx which is the range equals vix by delta t we know delta t and we know vix in this case so delta dx or the range would equal 94.7 meters and that would answer the problem